wanted to talk quickly about the upcoming consolidation of the dashboarding and reporting interfaces within Thousand Eyes. Today, as you know, the dashboards are located on one area in the UI and then reports are in another. And what we're doing is consolidating them into one view for all of your reporting information. The dashboards area is where you'll come for all that information and you'll notice that reports on the left here will eventually be phased out once those are migrated over automatically and then you'll be able to just come into dashboards to grab all the information that you need. Let's take a quick look at some of the new features within the dashboarding interface. So I'll drop down the selector here and this has some new options. So all the dashboards and reports that I have are on the left here and you'll notice some filters on the right so I can filter by dashboards that are shared by me dashboards that are shared with me or private only to myself. We also have groups for the built-in ones, so I can click on built-in dashboards and see all the built-in dashboards, as well as the migrated reports. So this is all of your data that's been transferred over from the reports you've created today. You can also search for a dashboard. If I want to pull up a specific one, it will then search through the list of all the dashboards and reports that I have. Moving over to the right, we have a little circle icon up here, and this is the auto refresh interval. So dashboards are set to refresh every two minutes, and this circle gives you a countdown. You can actually see the blue bar filling in here. So it lets you know when the next refresh is going to occur. This is nice to be able to see when that data is going to get pulled again, and you'll have a visual indicator of when that's coming. To the right of that, we have the time field. This is going to set what time period we're looking at. We have both relative, so you can select the last hour, two hours, or six hours, and all the different options here, as well as a fixed time interval. So if you want to pull back data from a specific day or time, you have that ability as well. To the right of that, we have an override button. So if you want to look at this dashboard and you say, all right, I want to see everything for the last six hours, and I want all my widgets to focus in on that. If I have that enabled, all my widgets are now going to change to reflect whatever time period I selected. So right now I have the last six hours selected. If I scroll down to a widget that supports that time change, for instance, this number on the HTTP test, you can now see I'm looking at the last six hours, right? And that's my data point. If I scroll back up and I turn that off, the dashboard refreshes and we're now allowing the widgets themselves to define what time period they look at. So if I scroll back down to that same widget, you'll now notice it's set back to two days. So this is a really great way of quickly pivoting all of your widgets to a specific time period and then allowing them to go back. So it's not actually making any configuration changes. You don't have to change it afterwards, but it's a quick way to change that view to what you're looking for. To the right of that, we have a snapshot button. So this allows me to either save a snapshot or schedule one. So that will take a snapshot of the data within this dashboard. And then I can also view the different snapshots that we've taken. So I can view all, and here's a list of all of them. You can search as well, or I can view related snapshots. Next to that, we have the download button. So this allows you to download the current dashboard either as a PDF or a CSV to pull back that data if you want to save it for later. The add a widget button is the same as you're used to. So this will allow you to add a widget to the current dashboard. And lastly, if I go into edit dashboard, we have a few new options here as well. So first is a description. I know many have been asking for this. So this is the ability to write a quick description about the dashboard, help you remember what you create it for, or if you're sharing it with somebody else, you can give a quick description so they understand what kind of view you're looking at or maybe how you set up those widgets. You can also set the default time range. So this will, you know, if you want to view everything in the dashboard for the last six hours, you can set that. And then this checkbox at the bottom allows you to override what those widgets are set for. So if you only want to see the last six hours of data, just turn this override on and it'll allow you to then set all those widgets to whatever you've selected in the time field up here. Or if you turn it off, each individual widget then can you know, obviously control its, its own time period and what that setting is. So that's a quick overview of the changes that are coming for the dashboards and reporting within Thousand Eyes. It's a much more streamlined experience, so you're able to grab all the information and data that you need now from one single place within the Thousand Eyes UI.